Hi friends, welcome back to the Satina Country Cottage. My name is Rosalie and let me say I have missed you guys. It has been too long since I've made my last video, but I am happy to be back. Um, we have just been crazy busy. Um, our schedule is just nuts as most of yours I'm sure are and we you know we have three little ones under the age of six six four and two years old and life right now is just crazy it's just busy and with my first year of homeschooling for my son Levi um, and then with you know right English writing lessons karate all that jazz it's just busy and with the weather here in Southern California um, being so beautiful lately, sorry for all of you in the rest of the country or wherever you're at um, that may still be experiencing winter, I feel for you. Um, but we are just keeping busy here and I'm sad to say that my favorite country store, it is called um, country general store in downtown Covina so for all my Southern California people that is where my favorite country store was located um, she the owner has decided to retire after 30 years and so the store is sadly closing so I will be on the hunt for a new um, country primitive farmhouse type of store that sells you know reproduction stuff and antiques um, that I could physically go to because I do a lot of shopping online um, a lot on Etsy for those special items those one-of-a-kind handmade folk art kind of items and I go on Amazon I could find some things that are more mainstream I do go to Hobby Lobby for some most of my filler stuff, my floral um, picks, my and um, sometimes some seasonal items, but since my home is more country primitive, I have to do a lot of shopping online because there just isn't um, stores like that around me or within driving distance. Um, so I have my eye out on um, a store. I'm gonna give them a shout out. It's located in Fallbrook, California and their name is Red Geranium um, and it just looks adorable right up my alley. I of course when I go the first time I'm gonna try to do a vlog. I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to go. I'm hoping within a month's time uh, me and my husband and the kids will take a road trip down there and poke around down there in Fallbrook. I'm sure that's not the only country store around there, or I hope not. So we'll see if that's my new favorite find. But Fallbrook, I'm assuming I'm in the high desert. So it might take me three hours to get there depending on traffic. Yeah, so we'll... We'll see, and I know they don't, I don't think they ship. I might be wrong, but I'll DM her on Instagram and, or him, I don't know who the owner is yet, and see if they're willing to ship. That would be awesome. But you can find them on Instagram, so go check them out and you could kind of see like what my style's like and what I, what I love. Um, so I'm gonna bring you a haul, I'm gonna show you the haul of all the goodies that I got at my favorite country store. Um, it was by invitation only, so you know, they're loyal customers that get their, that's on their emailing list and that stays in contact and gets coupons and stuff. Um, we're the only ones that were invited. Um, you know, we had to show the invitation and everything to get into the store. So that was kind of cool that she did that. Um, and of course, I was like one of the first people there. <laughs> um, waited 40 minutes just for the store to open. I got my niece, hi Rachel. I got my niece to um, watch my three kiddos because there's no way that I ever take them in the store. The store is on the smaller side and they would just want to attack and touch everything and it would not be a good shopping experience so anyway 
Um, usually when we drive down there, my husband takes them to a park or to my mother-in-law's house because it's kind of by her town and that's how we do it. So, um, has anyone seen, what does everyone think about the royal wedding? Um, I'm videoing this on May 19th, which so happens to be me and my husband's 11 year anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. Um, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. <laughs> um, you see what three kids does to you? It's like mommy brain all the time. But, um, yeah, so I just, I'm not a real diehard royal family, um, person that just knows everything about Diana and has purchases memorabilia and all that stuff. I'm not that person. Um, but I did jump online um, this morning just to see, okay, I wanted to see her dress, which I thought was so tasteful, timeless, and classic. It was, it was lovely. It was beautiful. Um, she looked beautiful like she always does. Um, and that's all really I wanted to see was what she was wearing. Um, maybe who was there a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, uh, so we share the same wedding day. So that's pretty cool. They totally copied us by the way. Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's get into the haul. Okay, um, first off, everything is 25% off. Um, I have my receipt here, so I'm gonna try to cheat. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm good at math or you know, could do calculations in my head with percentages off. Yeah, I have my receipt to cheat. So the first uh, item that I have here is, and I was looking, I, my husband was actually gonna build me a little riser. I just got a noodle board. Um, which for those who don't know, you they're also called stove boards. They're just a decorative um, wood, usually, board that sits over or on top of your stove, over your burners, or I don't think they recommend them for glass top stoves. Um, but I finally, years and years, I've wanted one and I finally just my husband said, go ahead and get it. They're not cheap. Um, I think I spent around $85 with shipping included for mine. Um, and he was gonna make me one, but we're just so crazy busy that I said, let me just buy it because I don't want to add to your list of the billion things that need to be done around here. Um, so he let me get one. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably, I posted a picture of it yesterday. Um, and I wanted to have levels on it. Um, so I, I at least wanted to have one riser. And so when I was at my store, the country store, um, I found this little riser. Isn't it cute? It's like just this little stool type riser. Um, so it's this color on top and then it's like distressed cream colored um, on the legs here and this was listed for $22.95 but I got it for $17.21 $17 to be exact. So I have this and you could see it on Instagram, it's in the picture sitting on top of the noodle board and I, I put my little, um, I think it says homemade relish is a little antique primitive jar that I got which I showed in a previous haul. So there's that. Um, I have had my eye on this piece for months. Every time I went, and I literally went to my um, to this country store at probably once a month. For sure, once every two months, I was there. Um, just getting, you know, home decor stuff, and um, I just love that store. And I had. Um, kept my eye on this piece. I love, you know, handmade folk art type of stuff, but definitely handmade things that are just kind of one of a kind pieces that you just don't find, you know, everywhere. Um, so here it is. It's this little chicken here. Um, looks like a rooster to me. Um, and it has little spools for for the feet. Isn't that adorable and clever? 
there's the other side. So they just kind of attached it with some um, twine there. And this is cloth. And I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but it's um, it looks aged with the little polka dots. And here's a little like tin star that they glued and buttons for eyes. And then here's a little like primitive tag. It just says um, Chicken Little on it. And I thought that was so adorable. And it was regular price $27.95. And that is why I just kind of kept my eye on it um, because it even um, has on the price tag here, I had to take the price tag off because it was like attached to it right here. Um, it says handmade excluded from discount. So like any discount, any sales or coupons, these little handmade items uh, were not, I couldn't get any kind of discount. So I just kind of kept it there and I always admired it when I went in the store. And so now, in fact, when they let, when we all were um, going in the store, I was probably like the sixth person or so in the store. I uh, went directly to this because I was like, I have to have that special little piece that I'm gonna put on my hutch after I take down all the strawberry stand stuff. Um, this will probably be sitting in my hutch for sure. Um, so, where is it at here? I got it for $20. So I was super excited about that and I just think, isn't she so adorable or he? So there's that piece. And then I got this, um, you know, baskets are so expensive. If you're like a long, is, am I, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, longa burger or long burger basket collector. I've looked at those things on eBay and for a good size one, they're pretty pricey um, for something that's just probably gonna sit anywhere in your home. Maybe you throw, you know, a blanket or a pillow in it and and that's it. And I just didn't want to spend the money or I just didn't want to spend the money to collect that particular item. Um, so when I saw this in the store, I thought that was so cute. And of course it's in my barn red or primitive red um, color and it has a lid here and this was $16.95 and then with the 25% off it was $12.71 so I thought that was a really good deal it's a cute size so it could go anywhere really in my home and so I picked that up real quick I picked up more I picked up another pick I don't know why I just picked up one um, I have maybe about six floating around the house in decor. So I guess I just saw this at the time and said, hey, I need another one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, this was regular price $4.95 and I got it for $3.71. I should have picked up more, but I didn't. I don't know why. I guess I thought I had enough at home, which I do. Um, then I got this a metal little I don't know if this is a real antique or not because she does have some um, antique items in the like back of the store they're not reproduction ones so um, I don't know I'm gonna call it antique because it feels like it's antique it looks like it's antique with the the handles like really worn and stuff and it doesn't look like it was done on purpose um, and this was $13.95 um, where is this at? $13.95, so $10, $10.46 I got it for. And I actually needed one more of these because um, if you haven't watched my last video, which was the decorative ledges that I have, I have um, displays or vignettes um, on all three ledges. And I have one that is missing one of these guys that I usually stick in there. So um, I'll try and link the video below and you guys could see what I'm talking about. So I got, I picked up this because so I thought I could use that. And then I got, let me flip this around here. I thought this would be perfect in my decor too. 
this little, what does it say? Old fashioned radishes. Um, the colors are gorgeous, they're vibrant, but yet they're still muted and dark, um, which fits right into my decor since I love a more primitive, a more primitive style. Whenever I see dark, rich colors like this, um, it just draws my eye and I'm like, what is that? Um, and it's pretty cool because while well, in here, they have like this um, filler in here. I think they had um, like eggs or something in there, but inside, and this is, it has some weight on it. Inside it's like ceramic or enamel. I don't know if you could tell. So that's, I think what makes it heavy. Um, but you could do so much with this guys. You know, you know, all you home decor people out there know that you could stuff whatever in here and it looks really cute. So I got that. And then um, when I was going in line and I thought I was done, um, which by the way, like I had a pile of stuff that they were, I was just handing uh, the owner's sister. I was just like, here you go. I just added to my pile um, because they don't have like carts. They had like just these little baskets that everyone was just carrying in the crook of their arm and just stuffing as much stuff as they could in there. Um, I was getting in line with my little basket and like on the back wall, isn't that where you always find like all the little hidden gems? In the back wall they had um, tea towels and runners and who could not use more of those, right? So here I got this runner, it was $2.95. I have my little like receipt hanging right here. So $2.21, is that right? Yeah. So this is the size of it and I got three of these. Um, and I just love these colors, these, you know, classic primitive colors, plaid, you know, that deep mustard, which my walls are like a lighter mustard color, and burgundy and black, and I mean, you really could use these anywhere in the house all year round if you want. So I got three of them. And then they only had one of these, but I figure I could tuck this anywhere or just throw it on the stove. And it was $3.95 as well, so $2.21. And it's just this large um, tea towel, and it's just cream and burgundy and tan. And they only had one of these, unfortunately, or else I probably would have got a pair. And then, last of my towels, I got two of these. Now these aren't typically the colors that I like to decorate with, however, let me show them. Let me show you this towel. I thought this pattern was so cute and a lot of you ladies or men that are watching my channel that decorate more farmhouse style, that modern fixer-upper farmhouse style will probably love these colors. So it's against a burlap sack color and then it says um, what does it say natural organic organic farming and farm fresh and I am planning on because of the red and green and burlap color putting this up for Christmas um, around I got two of them so they'll probably go up in my kitchen during Christmas but for Christmas I figured that would look great in my kitchen um, with this red and green colors. And then of course, who doesn't like the little red, well this isn't a little red truck, it's a little red tractor. All you country folks would be disappointed if I said little red truck, right? <laughs> it's like, that's not a truck. Um, so that's what I'm planning on using that for Christmas time. I think that'll look so sweet. And then I got um, by the register they had because it's a it's a it's called Country General Store and so they have a lot of decor but they have tons of like little gift items um, so it's more like a, a gift shop um, and I saw this bag just sitting on top of something and I thought it was so cute and I needed um, like a a new travel cosmetic bag. Um, because being on the go and everything, you know, a lot of times I don't do my makeup in the car like ever. If anything, I just curl my lashes and like throw on some lip balm or lipstick or something in the car and that's it. Never been one to like 
do a full face of makeup. I've seen so many women through the years like putting on blush and foundation and stuff while they're driving and I'm like, I, I just don't understand how women do that because I'm like washing my hands all the time once I put everything on. Anyway, this says be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you have always imagined. And I mean, that is such a, that's an awesome quote to live by. So, and the colors are perfect. It has like this little detailing right here. And I thought, and it's a really good size. Let me take this out. Yeah, it's nice and deep and I thought that was awesome. So I needed that and that was regular price, $14.95 um, and I got it for $11. So I was happy about that. I also got two other items that I'm not gonna show in this haul because um, they're gifts and I don't want to give them away. But maybe after, um, after I, I give this person their gift, maybe I'll show it in like another haul or maybe I'll do a home tour um, of that person's house. I don't know yet. And I know you all are waiting on a home tour. Trust me, I'm working on it. Um, I just have to go ahead and film it because you know, with three little ones running around, toys are everywhere and pillows are everywhere, sippy cups, bottles, all that jazz. Like, is there ever really a good time? I don't know. All you YouTubers out there that do home tours with a bunch of little ones, let me know how you do it. Um, I know a lot of people do it like when they're taking naps and stuff, but I have three kids and they don't all go down at the same time. I put them all down at the same time, but they don't all like fall asleep and they're out. No, that's not how it works in my house. <laughs> but anyway, this item I was so excited to find. It was probably one of the first items that I like grabbed, swiped up right away. Um, when you go to these kind of events, you kind of have to, or at least for me, because there's so many good stuff in the store, you kind of have to have a checklist in your head um, of what you're, like you have to have. You know what I mean? Like what, what items um, have you been keeping your eye on that you wouldn't pay full price for, but since there's a huge sale, you're like, I gotta get that. This was, this I have actually been looking for in antique stores for a very long time, but they're like outrageously priced. And I found some good deals on eBay, but um, the shipping just kills you. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just keep, I'll be patient. So I found this and it's funny because once I swiped it up, some lady was like, tackle that lady right there. She has that. So I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> people are going nuts. So. Um, let me show you what it is. It is a vintage or antique butter churn. And I, do, I don't think this is a reproduction. Um, and the only reason why I think that, maybe, you maybe somebody out there could tell me different, is because it has Daisy right here. And I have seen a lot of, butter, of antique butter churns like this um, that say Daisy. And I've never really seen a reproduction one or a new one um, that says Daisy. Usually it's just, you know, it, it looks generic. It looks plain. It gives off the effect, but but you could tell it's not it's not vintage. Um, so I th I just thought this was so cool. Let me put this down. If you could just see like the top. Let me see. There we go. Isn't that cool? Anyways, for my decor in my kitchen, it just fits right in. I have it on my noodle board right now. Um, and I posted a picture, like I said, on Instagram so you could see it on Instagram. And it was regular price, which isn't bad. I just never noticed it or else I probably would have picked it up at regular price. It was regularly $37.95 and I got it for $28. Yeah, so. I'm sorry, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode and my brother was calling me back. I had, um, excuse me.
excuse me while I drink my water. I had major um, Apple iMac problems with my photos and I had to call Apple. My brother worked for Apple um, for years now. He's an IT guy at um, Trunk Club. Hi, Pop. I call him Pop. His name's Eli. Um, and so I was trying to ask him. He's my our like family IT guy because that's what he does for the company that he works for. And um, I couldn't get a hold of him. He was probably at the gym or something like that. Or working. He also is a photographer, so he's calling me back. When I film, I normally put my phone on airplane mode, so I don't get interruptions. And, um, let me see, I'm gonna show you this. So, long story short, I get there early, my kids were being watched by my niece, I was gone for maybe like two and a half hours, so I was so proud of myself that I didn't spend longer there. And then, when I picked up the kids, we were like on our way to In-N-Out to get lunch for everybody, and I happened to check like all my bags. I walked out of the store with five bags of, of items. And they forgot to put, to, well they forgot to charge me, but they had this item set aside, and it was like probably the most excited the, that I got over an item that like all day. This was like my favorite item because it was such a steal. I couldn't believe it. Um, and, it and they just didn't ring it up. I thought it was in one of the bags and it wasn't. Anyway, so I have a separate receipt for that. This was regularly um, $50 and then they had it marked down to $33.95. I'm looking at the price tag right now. They had it marked down to $33.95 and then it was 25% off that and I got it for $25. And let me show you what it is. I hope it fits in the, in the shop. They're calling it a cookbook caddy. It's kind of big, so. It's all wood. It's black distressed wood and um, isn't she gorgeous? I just love wood. I love, especially like, cause that's that primitive girl in me that just loves distressed um, wood items, solid items, love Amish furniture. I can't afford Amish furniture right now um, because all their pieces are like quality heirloom pieces. But anyway, for $25, and it has this deep drawer right here, which I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. I have enough junks to fill it, so I'll probably put something. I have other smaller cubbies like this that when you see my home tour, you'll see that I have all of my um, doTERRA essential oils in, so I don't know if I'm gonna add more um, just supplements or essential oils in this um, drawer here. Not sure yet. But for $25, and this piece is pretty large. And it's just gonna sit on, I'm just gonna put it sitting on the counter. I don't wanna hang it, um, which you probably could if you really wanted to. But it's so heavy that I wouldn't want to. Um, so this is one of the pieces that I got. And last but not least, oh wait a second, not last but not least. I picked up, um, I needed a flag for my homeschool room. Um, so I picked this up, um, it was $3.95 regular price, so yeah, $2.96 for an American flag, and it's a good size, it's like perfect size for my homeschool room, which I'll do a tour on that once we're finished with it, but I'll give you a hint on how it's done. So think like Little House on the Prairie style. That'll kind of give you a, a little teaser on how I um, have our homeschool room. But this is, let me see here. Yeah, I think, yes, this is the most expensive um, item that I got that day and I did not mind um, spending them this much on it. It was regularly $39.95. I think this was the most expensive. 
and I got it for $29. And um, it is the Lord's Prayer Stitchery. Isn't that just gorgeous? But when I saw this, I, I took it off from the wall and I was like, I have to have this. <clears throat> So we'll put it somewhere where, or I'll put it somewhere in the house where we can um, read it all the time. And I uh, don't know where that's gonna be yet, but you'll see it in a home tour, I'm sure. So yeah, those are all my goodies that I picked up the other day. I'm so sad that I'm not gonna be able to go in that store. I kind of said like a little goodbye to the owner and goodbye to the store and um, yeah that was it I know it's silly to get attached to like a store but I have um, really it was kind of like my me time you know I would go in there by myself and just take my time and look at all the goodies and figure out you know what what I wanted to spend my money on that day and decorate my home and I have a lot of items um, that I purchased through the years there that just make my home to me very special and unique um, So sad to see her go but excited to be on the hunt for somewhere um, New to go to and kind of have a good time. I know Temecula has a lot of um, Antique stores and stuff, but to find like a true country um, Kind of country craft gift shop that has um, more primitive items, um, it's tough. Um, so we'll see what I find. But if you're on Instagram, check out the red geranium. Um, don't you just love that name? Because I have red geraniums in my house like pretty much all year long. Um, and then we just got some barrels from Costco. Um, that we're gonna planters that look like the you know half cut wine barrels um, but they're not wood so hopefully they should last us a lot longer um, than I'm planning to put red geraniums in so that store name is just so cute anyway I'm going to try and film another video right now um, we'll see how that goes. My husband and my kiddos are out in the backyard. Just having a good time back there. So I kind of have this time for myself to film. So I'm going to try and do another video. But I promise I won't keep you guys waiting as long um, for upcoming videos. I think I was gone for like a month, guys. I think that's how long it was. So I apologize about that. But um, I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope everyone has a fun, safe weekend. Hope all um, everybody had a good Mother's Day last weekend. I did. I, um, my husband and kids took me to the Rose Bowl flea market, which I love going there. Um, I went. I found what I was looking for. The reason why I wanted to go there. I am starting a, a collection of turquoise. Um, jewelry Native American turquoise jewelry um, and I found two awesome rings there um, that was part of my Mother's Day gift so maybe I'll show you guys once I get a good collection going I'll show you guys my turquoise um, collection if you're interested I'm also thinking about doing a Q&A um, so if you have any questions for me or just you know want to get to know me a little bit better um, feel free to leave questions down below in the comments um, or on my Instagram you could DM me and um, just ask away and if I once I get enough questions I'll um, go ahead and film also if you want to see like a um, uh, uh, Q and A with my husband um, to try to get to know him. He's thinking about starting his own YouTube channel when, of course, he has the time. We're just so busy. Um, but if you want to see a Q and A with him, also let me know, and uh, we'll see when we could get that going. 
So hope everyone is blessed and happy and is trying to make their home their happy place and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.